Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you a brand new video showing you how to make a tarantula island from one of the mystery island tours. So all you need, your shovel, your axe, your net, potentially a ladder and potentially a vaulting pole. And of course, the 2000 miles to buy the ticket. I am lucky I have a stockpile of these ready for tarantula island hunts, which is great. But it's really simple. Other than those things, literally all you need to do, fly there, speak to the villager if you want them on your island, or just speak to them anyway. Make sure they're okay. You know, there's gonna be a lot of tarantulas. You've got to look out for the villagers. But all you have to do is clear the islands. So you pick up all of the rocks or destroy them, depending on the size of the rock, of course. You can move the trees. For example, I kept two of the coconut trees but that's fine. But some of the other trees attract insects, which you obviously don't want. There is like a whole list of spawning. So you can go really extreme and like bare bones the island. But I mean, I got 29 tarantulas in literally a one hour recording session. So I mean, your results may vary, but most of the time you can get away with everything I cleared. So for example, I left the dig holes I left, I believe it was just two coconut trees because I'm recording this voiceover afterwards. Um, so I left very little. And as you can see, we dropped all of the items we had in our inventory down in a corner of the map. So you can do this any side. It doesn't particularly matter. But you want to do it on the beach because tarantulas, from what I've seen at least, are less likely to spawn there. So I mean, I've not looked at the spawn rates. I've not looked at where creatures spawn. All I know is 7pm tarantulas and everything I did in this video works. So you guys don't need to do hours of research to find out when they spawn, where the creatures around the tarantulas spawn. All you need to know, 7pm and the island being clear. I did have to chase away a few of these flies. So I don't actually know why they were spawning or if it's just based on the island I was on. Because obviously it just had bamboo and not actual trees other than the coconuts. One thing you are also going to have to bear in mind. You will obviously pick up fruit from the trees. Whether it's coconuts or any of the actual trees on the islands. With those, it's best to eat them after you've harvested them. So you can place them down, but this is just going to cause a bit of a headache for you. So what you can do is go through and get to your limit of 10. Place any more down that you have on the beach with your other items. Go destroy the rocks, and if you need any more, then go back and get them if you've got them. Obviously, you can't leave and come back. You can also bring your own fruit, or even just stock up on your island with the 10, and then carry it over to the Mystery Island tour. But I didn't do that. I literally just relied on everything that was on the island. Another cool thing to note while doing this, you can end up with the messages in a bottle, you can end up with fossils from dig spots. You get a villager. There's loads of cool things to be found. And then there's also the fruits, which of course, if they're not native to your island, they can be worth a lot. Sadly, I had coconuts, but that means I had no problem eating them as well. And compared to the tarantula and fruit prices, they're not worth anything. And also, if you had to pick whether you wanted the 8,000 bell tarantula or the fruit... You're going to pick the uh, tarantula every time. So if you have to pick and you've not got the fruit already, I'd say make a separate trip. Come again, find an island that's got it. Or even just use one tarantula space. But drop something else you don't need. So what I did at the end was I actually dropped all of the tools I could. So obviously you need the net to catch the 29. But then once I'd got the 29 and it was just my net left as the remaining inventory slot. I actually picked up my axe because that was the most valuable thing I had. Obviously you can pick up something else instead. That's entirely up to you. But I didn't see the point of taking my flimsy net which I had to replace instead of the, uh, the shovel or the axe. I'm not actually sure which one it was now I think about it. Because like I said, I'm doing this after the fact. So I've already recorded it and I'm not watching it while I do this. Another thing to note about tools that we briefly glossed over there. I had a flimsy net and that was because you can buy the tools that break. You can buy their replacements for just a couple of hundred miles, which isn't a bad trade at all. 
seeing as I got a bamboo island, so I couldn't get the resources to make replacements. But if you're going to lose them anyway, you might as well just use your miles, which you can get pretty much infinitely if you just go through the tasks and play and enjoy the game. You'll earn them so, so quickly. But literally, once you've cleared the island and everything, you just need to go around and catch the tarantulas. So you can do it in the method where you approach them and wait, approach them, wait, and then swipe at them as soon as you get close enough. Or you can do what I did. You can dig yourself a little 3x3 three three sort of safety area. And you just need to do two sides of it because once you go round the corner, if you're fast enough, it won't follow you and it'll just back into one of the walls. And then it'll just do like a circle run in the spot. So if you stay in one place, it will try and get you, but it's AI will just run a circle. So that may change in future updates, but obviously I don't work with Animal Crossing on Nintendo. So I don't know that, but it works for now. So literally in the video, I just back into that little area, sort of wait for it to start its circle path and then just hit it at the right time. And that's how I ended up with 29, which is a lot of bells to take home. Then of course you can go and sell these. And if you're worried about time constraints and whatnot, you can actually do this any time of the day, but you can just set your clock forward to 7 p.m. So if you're worried about skipping a day and you don't want to do anything of the sort, you can just literally set it a couple of hours ahead or a couple of hours back if it's about to be a new day. Because I don't know what time it ends at, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So literally, you can be playing it's like 10.37 while I'm recording this. I could skip the 9 hours ahead. You know, it's 7.37. And I can just catch them. And then if I'm busy for the rest of the day, I don't have to worry about it. That's one of the benefits of time travel. But that's obviously not what we're talking about in this video. It's getting you guys a ton of bells. I mean, I did what? Over 200,000 bells in one hour. That's all it took. So, I mean, you could get a million in five hours. You could get a million in four hours if you're a lot quicker than I am, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are. But anyway, that is how you get the Tarantula Island, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If there's any videos you want to see, make sure you comment them down below. I am going to be doing a bit more Animal Crossing content very soon, covering the uh, Bunny Day and Earth Day when they come out, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway, like I said, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, peace.